Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can control animations on any model in Unity using C Sharp. So the general idea of what I've got here is a quick scene I've got from the Asset Store and a quick model I've got from the Asset Store. The model is this one right here, so if you fancy a look at it please do, it's great. Uh, and I've used this scene before so you guys should know where to get that. Uh, basically, all we need to do is make sure that our model that we're trying to animate has the animation component and not the animator. So by default, this one comes with the animator. So let's remove it and add in animation. Perfect. Now the animations that come with this one are in this folder, but we have to extract them from here first. So you can see each one is called, for example, Wolf Rider 3 Run, Combat Idle. So let's take this one for starters the running one, hold control, press D on this so we get the animation out and let's rename it to just run. Let's take this one, hold control, press D to extract it and we'll call this idle and we'll take this one as well. This is just walk. So let's hold control, press D, rename it and walk. So now what we need to do is change these to legacy and we do that by going up here in the inspector panel, change to debug, click on legacy. Let's do it with run, same again, legacy and idle, legacy. And now if we go to normal wrap mode, let's have the idle um, wrap as loop. Let's have run as loop as well and walk as a loop. So now attach those to the animation component and let's have size as three because we have three different ones. Let's have idle as the default. So we have element zero in there and run as number one, walk as number two, and let's just change that back to three so we don't have idle in there twice. So we should be able to see the general gist of what's happening here. There we have the idle animation playing no problem. It starts off like that. So now let's control all of this using a C-sharp script. So let's create C-sharp. Let's have this animation control. Let's open it up in Visual Studio. And all we really need to do is just declare the actual object or model as a variable. That's the only thing we need to declare. So let's get rid of everything it's given us and start fresh in the public class. So public game object and let's call him the orc semicolon. And we will go with public void play idle open close bracket and open curly bracket and then it's simply the orc dot get component spiky brackets animation open close bracket dot play and in brackets and quotes we start with idle semicolon and then we can do the same again for walk so public void uh, play walk open close bracket open curly bracket and yet again yep just declare the variable get component when i say declare variable i mean I write it down again here in the script not declare it again like we have up here uh, animation open close bracket dot play and we called it walk so you can see the process of how simple this actually is and when we've done this what we're going to do is just attach them to buttons and then discuss different ways of you actually being able to do this. So change that to, um, what do we call it? What's the other one? Uh, idle, run, walk. Okay, so let's change this to run. So the orc, dot get component, animation, dot play, run. And save that script. Let's head back into Unity. And we shouldn't have any errors, perfect. Let's add a new game object and just call this anim control. And let's attach that script to it and then simply attach the game object over here. And now let's create three buttons. So game object, UI, button. Let's call this button idle. And then let's duplicate that button and call this button run. And then once again, duplicate that button and change this to walk. So I'm going to quickly rename the buttons as well. So idle and run and walk. 
And now let's have a quick look at those buttons and actually split them out. There we go. So we have three buttons now. And I'm sure you guys already know how to actually make buttons work already. So I'm going to quickly run through that. So animation control, no function. And this is the walk. Uh, play walk. So run. If you, if you don't quite understand what's going on here, uh, I do have a couple of videos on how you can actually utilize buttons. If you take a quick look at uh, my playlist, you should be able to find something. They're, they're very easy to put together anyway. So now when we've done this, what should happen is we should be able to press each of these buttons and be able to control what animation is playing. So let's give that a go. So there he is. So idle, yep, yeah, no problem, run. Excellent, he's running, walk. Run, walk, run, idle. So you can see the process of how we're controlling these animations. The animation component is kind of like a database as such. It holds all the animations that you would need within this particular object. And we're controlling them just by pressing these buttons. Now, you don't have to just have the buttons. For example, you could have uh, a key. So if you press a key down, you play these animations. You could have it start like that. So, for example, if we go on here and go public. In fact, we don't even need public. We'll just do it void start. So void start, open curly bracket, and we'll have him run as soon as we start. So at present, if you guys remember, the actual animation that plays first off is the idle. So now, because we're controlling the animation as soon as the script starts, we'll be able to run straight off the bat. Perfect, we're running. So you can see how this whole process works and it can be a little bit complicated and difficult to understand in the way that you declare what you need on here, relate to it in a different script and then relate yet again, for example, in the buttons. But as I said, you could also have these as key presses. You could have these as, uh, for example, void on trigger enter by where if um, it enters the trigger, an animation plays. Now, I do have loads of stuff on animations and different ways of doing it in many videos that I have. And I think it's entirely up to you how you feel the most comfortable in doing your animations. But I feel this is probably the best and easiest way to control animations with scripting. So guys, I hope you learned something. And if you need to learn any more on this, please leave a comment below. I'll try and get back to you or somebody within the community will because there's a lot of clever people around here. Or take a look at my playlists and just have a look at what you can find in there and learn something new. So guys, until next time, thank you very much for watching.